is a guy named Francisco Solano Lopez. Uh, he's born in 1827 and died in 1870. Um, mm. Let me just let me case. ask you this. Okay. When your parent says, hey, don't touch that. It's hot. What should you do? Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Cool. If your dad or your mom gives you a fork, or for some reason as a baby, you have a fork, and they say, don't put that into the electrical socket, what do you do? Not do it. Correct is the answer we're looking for. This guy did not. Um, I'm not a big history guy. I'm not a big geography guy. I do know a little bit about certain countries. Um, for instance, Paraguay. Do you know where that is? South America? Um, Roughly? Don't. North? Okay. Uh, okay. It's, uh, I guess it's kind of middle. It's uh, its northern neighbor is Brazil. And its southern oh. neighbor is Argentina, where okay. Argentina is from. Uh, I, that's an old basketball reference, by the way. You're right, right. Uh, so he's kind of sandwiched between Brazil and Argentina. And his dad at the time was... Uh, Oh, gosh. Carlos Antonio Lopez. Uh, sounds good. But he was the dictator at the time, and he had basically modernized. Yes. And okay, he okay. had basically modernized Paraguay uh, at like the mid-19th century. And for him, as he started getting to that age, he was like, you know what? I'm going to give power to my son, uh, and I'm going to give you basically at that time relatively the strongest most powerful military in South America. Cool. Oh, yes. Uh, wow. And he was like, listen, you, you have this power, just whatever you do, don't use it for like diplomatic problems. Mm. Like don't, don't go fighting people. But if, you know, mm. if, if people attack you, you can use it, but just don't, don't go out there. Mm. And he was like, got it. Attack everybody. So, <laughs> Uh, this, this dude literally took like what his dad said and was like, I got it, dad. I'm going to declare war on Brazil. So was, was he, there a reason? I, I didn't, didn't really go back and do it yeah. that much. No, I just saw this and I was like, wow, this, I, I this will guy. say one thing. I don't know the size. I don't, I don't know. Uh, I didn't know where Paraguay was, but, um, I can assure you Brazil is probably like 20 times the size of Paraguay population, uh, probably too, like in a way, like, I, bad idea. So, I don't know at the time. Um, I do know, I would say probably maybe like a quarter or a sixth the size now looking at a map. Wow. Yeah, um, right, right, like right, right. Brazil is huge. Brazil is like the, yeah. like, let's just say it's like the U.S. I would say Paraguay is probably something like New Mexico, maybe. Mm, like, it's yes. it's a good portion of it. But you know what? Don't use it for diplomatic things. And he was like, got it. I'm going to declare war on Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> Not a smart move. Okay, so uh, much like everybody else does when they say, don't do this, you're like, got it. And then you do it anyways. He does that. Um, then at one point, he was trying to request for Argentina, the southern country, mm -hmm. to allow his army troops to like travel through to go somewhere. Maybe it was to side blind or attack Brazil. And Argentina was like, no. No, 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 we're not going to allow you to do that. He was like, cool. I'm declaring war on you too. And it's like, hold up. So you are literally in between here and you're like, I'm going to declare war on this guy. Oh, I'm going to use you. Can I, can I go through here? No. Okay. I'm declaring war on you too. Now, after all this happened, uh, Argentina, Brazil, and at the time Uruguay, why? Um, I'm not sure if they were a country at the time, but they were basically like best friends with Brazil and Argentina. Um, they were an alliance and they were like, you know what? <laughs> if Brazil and Argentina are attacking you, we're going to jump in too. Right. And um, they all declared war on Paraguay. And at that point, Paraguay was wrecked. Um, <laughs> right. and, uh, the population decreased by like 50% at least. Um, you mean because of the war, like just killing? Uh, just because they were fighting north, south, and basically everything around them. Because it was like, wow. I declare war on you. Declare war. Sure. I, yeah, declare I know war. it's I know it's landlocked, right? Yeah. Oh, it's like right in the middle. It's 
right. um, the exact op- opposite of what Oprah was does. It's like you get a car, you get a car. It's like you get a war, you get a war, you get a war. Um, <laughs> but it's the population decreased by more than half, and then it was like of the age of fighting men who are available, it was like ninety percent right. of those men were killed. Um, Whoa! And then no one really knows why this happened, um, but he kind of they they think it's out of like a fit of rage or madness he just starts ordering executions in his own country where he's like you get executed you're executed uh you're my brother but you made me look bad at thanksgiving you're executed and started executing everybody so he killed his um, brother oh no it's just a family oh, members. Okay. i don't know exactly but it was like this Whoa. dude was just i think losing it and was just starting executing, like blaming people, like your this your fault, your probably fault. just like um, made him look bad, or like they talk crap about him. How you know? how could you look bad after you declare war on two separate countries who have an alliance with a third who are like you know what? And landmark. I'm in this too. Yeah. Um. So naturally, at the ripe old age of I don't know, uh, whatever age he was, or roughly around 1870, um, he died in combat. Hmm. Yeah. Um, did, who did he die? Was like was like against the three countries? I I didn't look into it. I I was okay. too wrapped up in how funny this was. Where it was like, don't do this, and he's like, got it, and then did it, and then attacked someone else because they said no. And then the other two countries who was attacking was like, dude, we have a treaty, or do you not see how serious this is? And then like attacked him, and then he was like, it's your fault, it's your fault, <laughs> start killing everybody, and then. You know, yeah. uh, this is a kind of a random connection. I recently made, I just posted a video uh, today about terrible Roman emperors. Ah. Um, with <laughs> Roman emperors, it's like, okay, we're, we're, st- we're, we're, we're saying they did this. Do we really know? Just 2,000 years hmm. ago, we have like yeah. three different accounts. One is like, you know, 30 years, whatever. But with like this, this low, what's his name? Uh, Lopez. Yeah. Um it's like fairly recent. So it's I'm sure all the stuff you mentioned, it's like, yeah, like he did it. And it's just kind of it's kind of crazy. So like the craziest you know. thing about this is this was not like a lifetime for him. Like he declared war in Brazil in 1864 and then died oh, in 1864. So really, oh, this wow. was literally like six years. He was like, I declare war on you. I declare war on you. Oh, wait, I'm being attacked. It's your I fault. It's I your don't fault. Think Paraguay is big. Even now, no, it's, like, it's yeah. Like I said, it might take up a quarter or a sixth of Brazil. I, I will, I will say, um, in the 1800s, South American countries. I mean, sorry, there were there were much fewer South American countries. Like, yeah, I so maybe Paraguay was bigger back then, and then like it, it splintered off, and like it Argentina may have been something, maybe yeah, um, yeah. I wonder if Google Earth has that. I think you could probably look at older maps. Though? No, no, no yeah, like yeah, older yeah. maps. But like, for example, yeah. there used to be a country called Gran Colombia, and there I don't, I don't believe there was Venezuela in that country at the time. Please don't hate, but but it's like outside of <laughs> Gran Colombia. Yeah, it broke apart. Different countries now, but so yeah. Um, well, I mean, I mean, Burnside still lived. India. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but he became governor three times of Rhode Island. Like, I think they gave yeah. him the smallest state because of those decisions. It was like he's, we feel uh, he's bad from for there. him. He's oh, from there. that's even worse. He's from Rhode Island. Yeah, I'm sorry. And he was like anybody. From he Rhode was Island. like a twice time senator of like Rhode Island. I'm like, this guy was an absolute mess and still got positions. So power anybody, anybody out there listening to this right now, this just goes to show you that no matter how many mistakes you have in life, you can still do something good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Unless well, you declare war on not three different Lo- countries. Yeah, not Lopez. The guy died. <laughs> um, do they have an image of this guy? Like an actual picture? Probably. Lopez? Right? Um, yeah. Well, you got to be careful, I guess, because I think that's why like people who are famous and do bad things have three names so you don't confuse them. Uh, Francisco <laughs> Solano Lopez. Oh, there's an actual picture of him. Wow. Yeah, yeah I. Oh, he does not look like a good general. <laughs> you can just tell by these images, he does not look like a general. Well, yeah. well wow. okay, again, again, if your parent says, "Here, oh, you found a fork." First of all, take the fork out of the child's hand. <laughs> Second of all, if they say, "Don't put it in that electrical suck," don't go. 
okay. And then do exactly what they say don't, because chances which, are it's probably good for you. Which a lot of kids do, actually, unfortunately. But um, I, mm, mm, or, wow. or clothespins or... 